Hello everyone, welcome back to the Chronicles of Riddick Assault on Dark Athena. Let's hope this game becomes fun again. I really want it to be fun. I really do. Alright, uh, where am I going? Refinery? Yeah. Hold on, by the way, what about the quest that I need to destroy the signal jammers? Five ja uh, five signal jammers spread across the Aguaran Islands so that he can call for help. Did I miss one? And is that optional, or do I have to do it? I wonder. I don't know. Guess I'll just keep going. And probably inevitably find out that I should have done something back there and I have to trek all the way back. We'll see. Should be able to reach the Athena through here. I love that the uh, lifts are still all jittery. They were in the first game, and they are even in this game. It's like you're constantly kind of clipping down into it as you go up. It's weird. Oh, there's someone up there. Or perhaps something, rather. Hmm. That's the sort of bar I can grab onto, but... But, I can't reach it. I don't think... I can move these boxes, except by using explosives. Is that what I'm supposed to do? Explode the boxes closer so I can get on top of them? I think it maybe is. Alright. Well. Right. I guess those things only die to the explosives. Should be able to reach the Athena through here. Jittery lifts. My favorite. And yeah, my foot's actually going through the ground. <laughs> it's weird, it's like your character only updates its position every... I don't know. Sometime less than the amount of frames per second that the game is actually running at. Actually, I don't think that's true. No, because you move smoothly like this. I, I don't know. I have no idea how that's doing that. But it's weird. Okay. Oh, no, I don't need to move them. There's a thing I can grab onto up there, I think. I might be able to grab that. Let's see. God damn it. Uh, maybe not. Okay, we're trying this plan. And it worked. I want to play like a, a Chronicles of Riddick platformer. Actually, no, I don't. Uh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I was about to say, like, is this where I'm supposed to go? Kill the fucking kid already. Make her a baby drone, whatever. See you, new But they fixed the engine she broke. Yeah, I'll go announce it to them. I wonder why she went for the engines. Yeah, that reminds me. I've got a feeling that I'm going to find that little girl again who was captured by Revis. And I'm going to have to, like, fight her or something, and she's going to be some sort of a mecha girl. Oh, hey, this is a spinner. You'll be glad to know that our time on this spunk bubble of a planet has come to an end. Get your shit together and asses back aboard the Athena in five minutes. Start drinks will be served at ten. Be sure to get drunk off your asses or people may frown. Let's head back to the Athena. Back up! You sucking cock back there, creep! What the fuck? 
Yeah, how broken is the AI? I was in the dark the entire time and he Quit fucking high. screams. Alright. Hmm. What's the best way to handle this? That's a pretty good way. Pretty lights. Wait, what did that do? I don't know. Things. Stuff and things. Would someone please check out what the fuck is going on in the transport relay? You son of a bitch! <laughs> Just aim for their heads and they go down in like one shot. I'll take your weapons, thank you. All available drones in Sector Bravo report to the refinery hall immediately. Kill Reddick! Let's try the SMG. Okay, it's decent up close. I guess. Freaking spider bots everywhere. It's a good thing I'm not arachnorobophobic. Probably get up there. Yeah. Could be secrets. Suppose that's a secret, sort of. Don't actually need it though. Ooh, but, oh wait, maybe I have to go back here. Hmm, it's up here. Can't get up there. It's gotta be a bounty around here. On the oh yeah, there's so many places a bounty could be. Oh my god. Up on any of these platforms, could be on that pipe. Must collect pointless secrets. Oh, whoa, what is this? Containment sector. Hmm. 
Okay, I just opened something somewhere. Where? Oh dear god, just die. Yeah, this gun fucking sucks. I just shot 60 rounds at him. Fuck you! As soon as I put down the gun, someone comes. Holy shit, Get how much health do you have? Right, so that's not the only way to go, right? Don't worry, citizen, I will free you. You'll be okay. There we go. You're welcome. RIP in pieces. Oh shit. Yeah, so there's that way I can go. I can also go that way. Do they lead to the same spot? Oh, they do lead to the same spot. Okay. So what did I unlock? I guess I just unlocked that door right there, I think. So yeah, you don't actually need to do that. That's cool, though. I like some optional stuff. What are you doing there, silly? Get out of there. Oh, I know there's secrets all over the place here. Up on those tubes, I can feel it. I can feel it. Oh, well. Sometimes using my magic eyes to see in the dark actually makes it harder to see. Oh, there we go. There's one. Kavak Regellen, one for developing a lethal chemical powder and marketing it as a sugar substitute. <laughs> Oh, I can definitely get up there. Yeah. I don't think I can reach it right now, can I? No, I think I need to move a box over. Actually, maybe I can't get up there. Eh, let's try it. Nah, I can't. He won't even grapple onto it. Just 
starport, ooh. Need to pick up the pace. Eh, I don't think it's time, Druidic, don't worry. Place is huge. Well, I mean, it is a starport, I suppose. Why wouldn't it be? Whoa, what is that? It's diet time! Back up! Give up easy! Asshole! So easy. I just put like four shotgun shots like in his chest and his head area. You gotta be kidding me. Need to pick up the pace. Oh, hello. Look at that. There is a bounty right there. Alright, maybe I gotta use this gun. See if I can find that dude so I can shoot my capsule. Time. It takes long though. There's no escape! Come on. Yeah, it's a one-hit kill, but yeah, no, it just takes too goddamn long. Time to die! Need to pick up the pace. Yeah, unfortunately, it's that part in the game where they just throw. Where they just throw enemies at you that simply have more health. I've never really found that to be an interesting way of increasing difficulty. I mean, it's not hard to make something difficult, right? It's extremely easy. Make something difficult, to make something difficult, just give the enemies super powerful weapons and or a ton of health. That's easy. That's not an interesting kind of difficulty. There's gotta be something more to it. And these enemies don't offer any interesting tactical possibilities. There's no escape! I think I basically just need to shoot him in the head. Did you hear that? Time to die! So, you underestimated us, motherfucker! You're fucking dead, chicken shit worm wrangler! Chicken shit worm wrangler? That's one hell of a job title. Where the hell are you? I'll rip your lungs out your ass! And the strange thing is, I would like it. It's Give up yeah, look at these cool things. Look at them. It's like a visual indicator of the energy flow. Cool. Hey, there's a flashy thing up there. Can I blow this up? Oh yeah, I can. Boom. That will hopefully allow me to get over to the bounty. I wonder if I actually need to come up here for it's entirely bonus. I really need a med station.
I'm not really sure this helps at all. Oh, here we go. What the hell did I just fall onto? Okay, at least I'm not dead. Okay, yeah, I think that's where I'm supposed to go. And if it is where I'm supposed to go, then what's over here? Other than a very dumb enemy. Oh. Oh, there's a med station there. Oh, I think I'm going to come in through a hatch, yeah. If only that uh, door had... Well, it's not really a door. Gate? Whatever the hell you want to call it. If only that had closed a second earlier, that guy would be alive. At least for another couple minutes. Before I drop down and slice his throat. What was he doing anyway? He just heard his comrades die and he was staring at the wall away from where that just happened. Not a bright one. But none of them are. move that one. Alright, there you are. Now, how do I get directly beneath me? Ugh. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that, yeah, that'll do it. How do I get back up? Hopefully there's a way. Tie with rope, wanted for several acts of cannibalism. Alpha Drone Control Room. Extra content unlocked. Just what I've always wanted. More Alpha Drone. Yep. Just as I thought. Somebody heard me. go. Finally got some ammo for this gun. Probably just go back and get myself healed. Oh, is that? That's the Athena, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it is. We're getting close.
Yeah, the bullet travel time makes it really hard to hit people when they're moving. Because the bullet travel time is extraordinarily slow. I like that there is bullet travel time. Has a little bit of authenticity, but it's way too slow. It was in the first game, and it is in this game too. I mean, look at how long this takes. I mean, that's ridiculously slow. Bullets are faster than that. like this place. There's no cover. Motherfucker thinks he's something special. In fact, I was just thinking this looks like a boss arena. Fuck. <laughs> Let me guess, it's an alpha drone. Oh, shit. Hit me. Try to hit me, damn it. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. Is that five? Yes, that's five. Come on. Any more? Follow the wire into the wall. Oh, wait, there's an explosive that I can blow up with that Alpha Drone's uh, grenade. I'm not sure what the point of blowing it up would be, but uh, I'm curious. Let's try it. Now, why did I do that? Is it just a bonus? Oh, it's just a bonus area. Oh, that's so cool. I love bonus areas. Thank you. Lucky McFall, wanted for breaking into a city morgue and committing acts of necrophilia. Huh. I don't know why I shut that light out. <laughs> There's no point. Okay, any other explosives? Doesn't seem like it. I think a shotgun would be a good up-close weapon, but if you don't hit them in the head, it doesn't seem to do that much. It's too slow. Wish I had a grenade. SMG would be a massive fail, especially with only half a magazine. I'm just gonna try to pop them in the head. Keep in mind, though, I've only got one bar of health, so... yeah. Alright, that's fine. It's a freaking ammo. These things don't drop ammo, though, because their weapon is just, like, integrated into their arm. They don't have standard weapons. Oh, thank god, a med station. Sweet spikes of relief. Well, kind of spikes. Not as good as the old days. 
Things were better in the old days. There's that weird animation reset bug. It's happened a couple times. Huh. The rail system moves the crate, but it doesn't move me. Yeah, my tactic of getting close to him, my tactic of getting close to him and uh, bugging out his lack of ability to turn, doesn't seem to work with these anymore. I don't know why. I don't know if something changed or what. It worked with the first one really well, but not with these. Damn it, I missed. Whoa, what the fuck? Did I not have all five on him, or did he only go down for like a quarter of a second? The fuck? Okay. There's three. There's four. Alright, are we done yet? I've been working for months now, Riddick. Waiting for the perfect fight, the perfect moment to fuck someone up. What a treat that it gets to be against Richard B. Riddick, baddest motherfucker in the galaxy. Scratch that. Second baddest motherfucker. After me. Really? Really? I'll make sure they tattoo that on your corpse. <laughs> so, you want a shot at the title, Riddick? The only way you're getting on board is through me with this exact pass, you little bitch! Alright. I'm gonna mop up your blood with your face! My face does not absorb very well. Do I hit him in the back? Yeah. I can blow out these. No. I'm not sure whether I need to plant five on him, five on him in a specific location, if I can just take him out by shooting him a bunch of times, I don't know. Alright, 
All right, well, there's five. <laughs> that did nothing. Maybe right in the face blade. I have no idea. I'm not getting any feedback from him as far as whether I'm damaging him. You're nothing special. I could also throw grenades from the Alpha Drone at him. Hi. What the fuck? Oh, right. I forgot. When you're in the dark, you're not completely invisible. That didn't work too well. Uh, yeah, I'm not getting any feedback from him. I have no idea if I'm actually doing damage. There's, there's no way to tell. I've been working for months now, Riddick. Waiting for the perfect fight, the perfect moment. To fuck someone up. What a dream that it gets to be against Richard B. Riddick. Baddest motherfucker in the galaxy. Scratch that. Second baddest motherfucker. After me. What? I have no idea why that exploded in my face. Why do those grenades sometimes just explode my fucking face? I've been working for months now, Riddick. Waiting for the perfect fight, the perfect moment. Fuck someone up. What a treat that it gets to be against Richard B. Riddick. The baddest motherfucker in the galaxy. Scratch that. Second baddest motherfucker. After me. I'll make sure they tattoo you that on your corpse. The only way you're getting on board is through me with this exact pass, you little bitch! I'm gonna mop up your blood with your face! Target practice! Maybe I need to get five on his back? I mean, I don't think his front is his weakness. I'm pretty certain about that. His front looks very heavily armored. So I'm gonna try putting five in his back. I'm gonna use your corpse as a door jam. That's three. I need two more. God damn it. Come on. Wait a minute. Do I only have... Uh... I've only got one now. They disappear after a short amount of time. It's like a minute to two minutes or something. God damn it. Why can't you hit me? You suck. Yeah, that did nothing. Hmm. I'm just going to keep blinking at him. I'm just going to assume that putting these in his back does damage.
Not that I often have access to his back. If there's anything in there where he came from, I, I doubt it. There usually isn't. And I don't see any explosives or anything in the environment that I could blow up with the alpha drone grenades. Well, this is not the most exciting boss fight, is it? I don't get any feedback. I don't know if that's working. Best thing to do is just stay in the shadow. Watch him. Wait until he turns around. And then hit him in the back. He won't come back too far. No, he doesn't like the shadows. Whoa, what is he doing? I don't know, but I'm going to put all five in his back. Aha! That was how you solve it. And I'm guessing you needed to explode all five at the same time, just like the Alpha Drones. Which is still incredibly stupid, and you should still be able to do it over time, rather than have to do it all at one time, because it doesn't have a magic regenerating suit. In the end, everybody bleeds the same. I could have had you. If it's any consolation, you were better than average. So that's something. Yeah. Ah, I wish the boss encounters were more interesting. They're just not, though. I mean, that's a prime example of how you should not do a boss encounter. One that requires just cheesing one tactic of staying in the dark, waiting for it to turn around, staying in the dark, waiting for it to turn around. And just requires you to guess how the designer intended you to be able to kill it. Because there's only one way to kill it. Like, okay, it's indestructible to everything except the one way the designer decided you should be able to beat it arbitrarily. That's not a good boss fight, unfortunately. It's okay though, because I can dance on this body. Do 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 do. It's probably gonna blow up and kill me.
I thought maybe there'd be a bounty up here or something. Nope. Could be on the other ones, though. It'd be super obvious, considering how dark everything is, because they glow. my permission to shoot him like the fucking rat he is. But Captain, even Spinner couldn't... Or the dentist. Your choice. Either way, get ready, people. you're gonna lose some teeth. I have no mercy left for you. Someone release the drones before this fucking door opens. Fire at will. Eventually, all servants turn on their masters. Huh. Attention all hands. Awesome. Malfunctioning drones on deck six through nine. Repeat, malfunctioning drones on deck six through nine. Assigned squads meet at rally points and neutralize the threat. Non-essential personnel stand clear of the affected area. I don't like how he keeps pointing his gun at me, but he obviously doesn't intend to shoot me. You know, I thought maybe the little girl was, um, bait to get me to come somewhere, but given what she just did, I don't think so. Cool. It's gonna be hard to tell who's friend and who's foe now. Fuckhead. What are you doing? It's dying time. I don't even want to kill you, I just want to observe you as a strange scientific specimen. And, and now, now that he's killed the drones, his life has no purpose. You son of a oh. bitch! Never mind, now he has a purpose. And now he's dead. I suppose I could've just continued even without bothering with them. Where there's hatred, so justice. Where there's injury, pardon. Where there's doubt, hope. And there's swift and certain death befall anyone who stands in my way. 
Ain't much of a prayer, but it sounds good. That's why I know this won't be over until Revis breathes her last breath. This looks like a boss arena. Alpha drone control station. Ah, cool. What the? Oh, there's glass. Yeah, it's really cool the way that works. You weaken the glass by shooting it, and then... Then you can break through it. It's very cool. Pressy Banba, wonder for single-handedly inciting a civil war on Chessex Azir. I have no idea what that thing is. Purpley dots of doom. Warning. This is a prototype control station. Be advised that destruction of the vessel may cause you harm. Use with caution. Whoa, I, yeah, it just sunk on me that it's not a drone control station. It's an alpha drone control station. Holy shit, this is awesome. Hell yeah, alright, let's get used to my weapons. Left click is that, right click is probably rocket, right? Yep. Okay. No jump, no crouch, okay. This is so cool! They don't notice me. Now they notice me! Fuck yeah. I'm not hurting myself with my own rockets, am I? Oh, I am. Okay, don't shoot that close. I love that at the very bottom, the center of the screen, like of its uh, of its HUD, it just says "destroy, destroy." Like that's its only directive: destroy. No more instructions. That's all it needs. Just destroy. Hello. Pick her up? Oh my god, is she gonna ride on my back? <laughs> what a sight. I'll get you out. If the drone dies, hide in the vent. I knew you'd come back. I know where a ship is, Riddick. The computer told me. Take me to the elevator. I could open from inside. What are these things? Like little holograms of people. Huh. Watch out! There's so many of them! Yeah, hide behind my head Go pretty left. well, because otherwise you're going to be blown up. She's even guiding me. Motherfucker! You got him! Go left. Go left. Up there. In there. Climb into the elevator room and open the doors. Then you can get in from the other side. Hurry! Hmm. 
That kid is one very useful plot device. Yeah, this looks like a boss arena. And it just saved, which means I'm pretty sure it is. Alright, come on. Come on, Revis. It took years to create this! Years, you asshole! Then you come in here and you fucked it all up! I'm used to living hard, Riddick. But it ends right here. Right now. What the hell kind of a suit are you wearing? Are you gonna be shooting rockets at me? Yep, you are. Shit. Oh, these blow up. That's not good. She might be indestructible from the front for all I know. Damn, that punch has got some range! I'm so dead. I probably need all five on her. Or not. Or maybe I need them on her back, I don't know. This is the same case as all the others, where it's like, this enemy is almost certainly indestructible except for the one weakness that they have, so good luck trying to find it and die 20 times in the process. Have fun. It's... Yeah, the normal guns probably don't work. I could try you lacking her. That sounds like fun. Let's do it. That worked for a second, and then it stopped working. But I want to try it again anyway. Whoa. I actually got her to fall down. This is actually doing damage to her. No, I lost her. Try to punch me. Fuck. I, I don't even know if that's doing damage to her. I mean, obviously it looks like it, but is it really? Yeah, I have no idea. It's probably get five of those things on her back or something. Just like 
I mean, that stuns her for a second. Oh, fuck off. I can't get five of those things on her back. There's no fucking way. Yeah, so five of those on her front does the exact same animation as just exploding one, where it just briefly stuns her for like half a second. So that's not the answer, so maybe five on her back, but that doesn't seem fucking possible. The Ulex managed to get her on the ground, which seems really good, but... Unless I'm supposed to like get her on the ground and then like wait and press E or something? So stupid. I'm gonna try getting on their ground again. Let's see what happens. And there's nothing in the environment I can use, I don't think so. How did I get her on the ground so much before? I just kept getting her on the ground again and again. I don't know how I did that. <sighs> These are seriously some of the worst designed boss fights I've ever experienced. What were they thinking? Thinking thingies in her back. Could just be shooting her back. It's probably the scar gun in the back. Or what if I get her to like blow just up all like these pillars? What the hell would that do? That wouldn't accomplish anything, would it? I don't think it would, but let's try it. Yay, they accomplished nothing. Here, blow them all up fully. It's probably just my cover that's being destroyed rather than anything actually being accomplished. Now my cover's destroyed. Wonderful. I've accomplished so much. Ow.
Yeah, the, <laughs> the entire boss fight is just try to guess the one weakness she has. Uh... It really doesn't feel good when you know that most of the things you can do, like using my guns to try to shoot her, like, you know, a gun like this one, is probably not going to do any damage whatsoever, so I'd be wasting all of my time to shoot her. Maybe. Probably. But I can't be sure. That's not a good feeling. I kind of want to just look up a walkthrough to figure out how to beat her, because I really don't care to figure it out. It's just a waste of time. It's really sad. Why would they design a boss fight like this? So what have I tried? Let's inventory everything I've tried. I've tried blowing up five of those things on her at the same time. It doesn't work. At least from the front, it doesn't work. I've tried meleeing the hell out of her. It doesn't work. I got her to fall on the ground when I was meleeing her for some reason. I don't know how. That didn't seem to do anything, although I should try it again, maybe, to see if I can get her on the ground again and maybe press E to fuck her shit up or something. I don't know. I've tried blowing her up with single shots from the scar gun from the front a bunch of times. Ten plus. Didn't do anything. What does that leave? I'm thinking it's probably just five on the back again with the scar gun. But good luck with that. Especially considering they disappear after like a minute or two. Alright, see if I can get her on the ground again. Okay, here we go. No, I don't think I can do anything. <sighs> I'll try shooting her in the back. a little bit tricky. Uh, is her body- Oh, what the fuck? Her body was just like twisted all the way around. That was disgusting. Ew. I, I don't think I can shoot her five times in the back. At most a couple times before they disappear. I just- I'm too damn slow. This is as fast as I can go. I can't hide in the shadow, can I? No, she just knows I'm here. Like, that right there is my only opportunity to hit her in the back. And it's quite brief. Open elevator door. What the fuck? Okay, there's a huge elevator shaft. Am, am I supposed to, like, push her down it? Is that... Is that it? Okay. Oh, I see. 
They literally. Wait a minute. <coughs> they literally just made her invincible, didn't they? She's just straight up invincible, isn't she? And the only thing you can do is push her down the shaft. Or she suddenly becomes invincible to fall damage. Brilliant. That's brilliant. It's fine to have it so you can push her down the elevator shaft, but don't make it the only way you can defeat her, especially when she's wearing a rather small suit that obviously would not be hardy enough to protect her from, oh, I don't know, 50 shots from a shotgun, plus a bunch from an assault rifle, plus Ulax being, you know, slicing her up about 50 times, plus a bunch of those little air capsules exploding on her face and in her back and on her front. Yeah, that's fucking stupid. I need to push her towards that. God damn it. Get over to the fucking elevator. Get over there! No. Not into the corner. Into the elevator! Jeff. Yeah. Oh my fucking god. Thank you for the point blank rocket. Okay, uh, best way to do this might be to put a thing on her. Wait till she's right at the center there, explode it. And then use melee? Maybe. She keeps running to the fucking side. Actually, I should probably open it first, huh? God damn it, fuck you. It's really the mark of a bad boss fight when you know the solution and yet it's still annoying to do. Oh, come on! Like, the first one knocks her down and then magically they stop knocking her down. What the fuck? Okay, dear God. <laughs> it didn't have to be this way. You know what? It doesn't fucking matter anyway. Just don't forget me. If you used to live in hard rivers, the dying should come easy. Is she coming back? When I say goodbye, it's forever. Holy shit, that music. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Well, that was a sudden ending. Alright. Well... That was a sadly... 
annoying ending to an otherwise very good game. You know, I'd heard before playing it that it was less well received than the original Escape from Butcher Bay, and I definitely see why. It's not as good. It's just not as good. It's not bad. The first, what, uh, four to five hours is actually really good. But then the last couple end up becoming really annoying. Some of the most terrible boss fights I've ever played. They're really bad. It's just some annoying design decisions. They're just aggravating as hell. Which is a shame, because otherwise it started off really well. And the original game had the same sort of problem. It did have some really annoying design in some areas, but it was relatively small compared to how annoying this one was. Oh well, but otherwise it's basically the same game. You know, still looks good. Uh, it still has a really good amount of variety, which is great. I mean, you... You go from having melee weapons to having really big weapons to having the scar gun, which changes up the combat, although it's not a great gun and kind of annoys the hell out of me too. It was neat to begin with, though. And you also get into a mech, which is actually has been improved quite a bit from the original mechs. It's much more mobile, feels better to use. And you even get to pilot one of those um, alpha drones, which is really freaking cool. That section was unfortunately very short. I wished it went on longer, but yeah, that was really cool. So there's still a good amount of variety. Voice acting is still amazing. Yeah, it's basically the same as Escape from Butcher Bay, except just not as good, unfortunately. Oh well. I don't regret playing it or anything like that, though. It was still a pretty good time. Alright, well. I hope you enjoyed my playthrough of The Chronicles of Riddick, Assault on Dark Athena. Thank you for coming along with me. And thank you for watching.